for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway, towing the slab in today's game, Shohei Otani. We know he's one of the best in the game, doesn't make many mistakes, and if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Jerickson Crowbar. The left hander, Jerickson Crowbar. The pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And this one is off and running. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. All over that one right there. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Right through there for a strike. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses, got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. Popped up. Lux makes the grab one down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're Off not going to get one. very many pitches to hit in and at bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in in the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against it. Profar leads off first with one away. And that's too high. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Squeezes it, and there's two away. That Manny Machado up to the plate. Manny Machado. In there, and it's 0 1. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher oh, out there in the round. Good eye in that spot. Pitch in the dirt. Two and one. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a miss struck him out. And we're back. And on the mound now, you Darvish. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone and get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. It's 1-0. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat.
Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Dave, there only may be 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy it's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the ball bat one, right no there. Fight. One and to Freddie Freeman. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Just missed. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And another ball. And that's oh, just foul. foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path, that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence. This pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. That Time is. now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're dealing with a sicker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time oh, challenge good. when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't oh, want to miss it. Time. Just missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Two out spaces empty. The 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. So the Dodgers strike first on the solo jack. It's now 1-0. You're dialed in to the Back here in L.A., second inning set to go. Digging in, Luis arrives. Otani back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Wouldn't oh chase that time. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, they went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Gets the butt down the right side. Throw on to Freeman. Out on the sack bump. There was a time where that sack bump was just whole hum. Very basic, but is increasingly difficult as it's become to get bunts down in the big leagues. Nice job right there. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. All right, Singy, you know him a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100. Now it's going to be Luis Campusano. Luis Campusano. And that one fouled off. Yo one. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And that is the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors.
bottom of the inning. Now Teoscar Hernandez. Trying to keep the pitch. Darvish, multi-time All-Star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. And that's downstairs and outside. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Three ball, one three. And another ball. Got the corner for a strike. Three and two down. Payoff pitch. Good plate That's appearance good. there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Pitch is in there. And it's 0-1. delivers and a foul ball Darvis checks on the runner Hernandez gets back easily left hand batter waits oh and he hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him now here is Andy Pajas just missed. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, that's, and that's outside. And it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And that chance. Handle off balance oh. feed. There's one. How about that double play? Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute it. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Here's Kike Hernandez. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Runner at third, two away. Pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. So the Dodgers leave one. They lead it one nothing. Out of the third inning. Now it's the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. The right hander back to work. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for Korea. That misses. Got one and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now batting jerks in Profar. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Profar gets a piece there. Profar, 31 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. And a pitch. 
And a good eye there. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike 0 2 Cal, instead it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Corrals it. Two down. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Fernando Tatis Jr. Headed down the line. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in to end the inning. Set for the bottom of the third. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. The right-hander back to work. Foul ball there. The pitch. Hey. Ground ball up the middle. He's in there. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Darvish checks on the runner. Lux dives back in safely. Swing it a foul straight back. Lux gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that is cut on and missed. And that's strike two. Move to first. And he's back in there. And that's disengagement number two. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Out. To second, there's He's one. Out. Relay to first, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right the there. His infielders took ball. care of business. Ready. Textbook execution between Ready. short and second to turn that into two outs. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's all for one. On the ground right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth. And now here is Jake Cronenworth. Otani back to work. Ball one, no strikes. You know, these Padres, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the dives. What a play! So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route it took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. And Manny gets a piece. One In ball. the dirt, two and it's one and two. And All that good. just misses. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Bounce to third. Muncy. Machado oh. out of the play. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and put it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Kicks and fires. Now wanted one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that is that. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They trail here, 1-0. Back 
here in Chavez Ravine. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith as he turns on the rubber here with that good live arm delivers. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Three. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, he made pretty good work of him right there. You look at the sequence. Everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Here comes Max Muncy. Swings through that one. Here's a fun fact. All Dodger one. Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Merrill snags it for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. In the air, right field. Tatis after it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium, new inning getting started. Stepping in for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Oh, what a stop. Throws from his knees. It's there, and that's a great play. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. So up next, Jackson Merrill. Flied to left his first time. Fought off foul. At the belt and fires. Right through there for a strike. No ball. In the air, left field down the line, and that's a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Right into the plate. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. Makes the catch. And there's two away. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Grounded out his first time. Campusano. This to center field. Outman under it. And he makes the catch. And that is that. And we're back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, James Outman. First pitch, just misses. Just missed. Left hand hitter waits. There's the strike. And a strike. Andy Pajas digs in now. He's over one. That's a strike. One one. Runner at first with no outs here. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's no, mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And here it comes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Swing and a miss. And it's on two. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Foul ball still 0-2. Man at first, one away. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, interesting. Now He's now looking now. very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. The 0 1. And a foul ball. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Outman off of first with two away. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for LA, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here in the book The shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there in the mound. Out to center. Outman gets there. He's under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Jerks it pro far. One for two. Now a screamer into the outfield. Outfield makes the grab. And there are two down. The batter. The right hand. Fernando. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Warning track. And you can touch them all, baseball man. He sends it out of here, and we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Two outs, nobody on. And now, Jake Cronenworth. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Cronenworth, a former All-Star, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Hammer, base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Machado, oh, up for the third time here, watches that one miss.
Yeah, oh. there's a ball. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And he swings through that one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And he can't come up with it. Thanks, he's good. Arise stands in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's just given up three straight hits and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach to go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Line drive. And it stays fair. Here comes Cronenworth around third. One runs in. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So two down. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. And the oh. first pitch misses for ball one. Now one and oh. Well, chase that time. He hasn't wanted the challenge of both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. James Paxton getting loose out there. Grove getting loose as well. Small on, belted. Hernandez going back. Gone. He dunks it off the foul pole. It just got out of here. It's their second home run of the inning, and they tack on three. It's 5-1. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a now. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. James Paxton bringing in the lefty yeah, yeah. with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Merrill hey. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Way inside, Two gets straight. out of the way. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Ball Campusano stands oh, in with two away as he takes a ball. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of singles back to back. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. 
Well struck left field. Fernandez reaching back towards the wall. In the air to make the catch. Oh man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Plus we got hitters on deck, but you worried now. We gonna pull up, hood up. Well, we go bottom six, and now it's Mookie Betts. The line of the pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. The state balance and squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning oh, into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. Three. The punch out there, not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. The batter now will be Will Smith. That will back up the middle, and it gets through. Flying around third is Betts. He scores. It's 5-2. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Let's get the ball by the pitcher. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. One gone runner at first. And now it's Max Muncy. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Capusano pulls it down, and there's two gone. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right no, down no, the no. middle. I think he got a little too excited, there came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it off. Unfortunate for him. Hernandez in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. In the air, out towards right center. Merrill settles underneath it and makes the grab. And that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the top of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. This one in the air right field. Pajes under it. And a quick out number one. Now back. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Line drive, come on. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Two outs, base is empty. And now Jake Cronenworth. Just nope, off the outside edge. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. In the air, left side. Hernandez pulls it in on the run. Now let's go with like the city, y'all. Wandy Peralta taking over on the mound. Everybody looking what we pass it Now we just turn the strip. Does the lefty gets to work? 
one. Oh, there's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Down swinging. One up, one down. No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed out of the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's the other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. You have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. And all another three. ball, or I would expect, in this 3-0 three three count. No you're play. taking all the way. See if they walk you. And yeah, there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a play. Start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Wouldn't chase that time. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Can't Ball find deep. it here. That's six straight balls. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And boy, that was the pitch, 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Peralta checks over to first, and he's back. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that he can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. 3-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. And ball nope. four to ball a board. Four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. No bad, uh, a great no back and forth in that Second at bat. He had to play off some yeah, really yeah. close pitches, and Whoa. somehow, though, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Nice. In the box now, takes strike one. Oh, one Always down. tough to turn two in a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit yep, hard on the ground out. that they can handle to turn two quickly. Dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The tying run at the plate. And just misses with that one. on the play base is now loaded boom that's staying within his game right there i mean this speedster gets the infield single so the padres with a new arm of the mound Daniel de los santos of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here the bottom of the seventh. That one, one in the one dirt. Strike. And that is ball one. up dangerous hitter at the plate fights that one away still one and two righty delivers called out on strikes and a big sigh of relief from the mound with that call third strike 
strike. The foot, the big strikeout right there, and maybe Ready. a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Kim with the throw to first. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So a job well done from the Friar bullpen that time. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Padres five and the Dodgers two. We go to the eighth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. Manny. The lefty fires. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Puts it away for the out, and there's one down. Luis Arias, the next up for the Padres. Luis Arias. Line drive, base hit, right field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Xander Bogarts. Hey. Right through there for a strike. All right. Stands at first with one out. Way outside, and now it's even one and one. On the ground to the left. On the run, throw to first. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill, one for three. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The other one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're in the top of the eighth. Tapped in front of the play. Throws to second for one. Not oh, in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Now at the plate, Luis Campusano. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Padres leave a pair. And it remains 5-2. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom of the eighth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. De Los Santos back to work. And that one fouled off. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And he'll two. That That's one missed. One, two. Three. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Muncy stands in now and watches strike one. Big swing and a miss. And he really oh, sells yeah. the changeup with that arm action. One down, base is empty. 
That's oh, off the mark. One and two to count. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. Oh, Perfect. that pitch got away from him, and that's a hit by pitch. He had a 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. And at first, Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And ball one. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And Hernandez is out, two away. Just two down now, and here is James Outman. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. That's a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail at 5 2. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. And that one fouled off. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. That pitch was pretty borderline at the top of the zone, and he's not digging the call out there on the mound. Clearly pretty frustrated, so he's going to have to collect himself a little. The shortstop takes the ball. Popped up. Lux sizing this one up and out number one on the grab. The left up number now the Padre leadoff Jerickson. man Jerickson Profar. Oh. And that's outside oh, that one and oh. Ripped on a line. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So man aboard one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. And now the lefty foul back our way, and that's out of play. Tatis waits. That one is absolutely belted. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7 2. Tatis is a superstar in baseball, and that swing of his is a big reason why. He's electric with the bat in his hands. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. One down. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Hey. And a swing and a miss there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one the other way, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Manny Machado now. 
He's going. Cronenworth runs. Pitch misses. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Paxton deals. There's a swing and a drive. Outman going back. Pulls it in and the warning track. Two across on this San Diego homer. It's 7-2. Back after this on the show. That was the zip code. December 27 was the birth of... And we're back. And now... Out of the bullpen for the Padres, number one. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. That one to first, Cronenworth. He handles it himself. One out, bottom of the ninth. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Now it's the DH, Enrique Hernandez. First pitch misses. There's a strike. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. One and two here. That's out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. So last chance for the Dodgers. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. On the ground, and this should do it. And that'll do it. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 7-2, your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.